Ashnod's altar. Uh, I had no idea of the gender of Ashnod. Uh, I just thought it was a name that was going to be associated with uh, the card. I didn't know it was going to become a story eventually, you know, an element in a story. So I'm not exactly sure why I, I decided to depict a Technicolor, you know, Frankenstein style laboratory. Um, it might have been something Jesper Mirafors and I had been talking about, um, but yeah, it's very colorful. <laughs> and uh, it was just supposed to depict a kind of a creepy uh, laboratory surface where a creature would be experimented on or treated with uh, some sort of transforming, you know, liquids or chemicals. Um, I wasn't even really sure what the function of the card was, I don't think. It, it, it didn't have a whole lot of uh, backstory associated with it. It, it's interesting to like later realize that other artists have created different pieces of something that you, as far as you knew, was like the only uh, depiction of it. Like I didn't realize that Ron Spencer had created an image of Ashnod that, uh, you know, like if I did, if I knew that, then it would have become part of the way that I depicted Ashnod's altar. At the time, uh, no, I didn't realize that anybody was going to be compiling more imagery to the image that I created for Ashnod's altar. But uh, now I would assume that artists uh, realize like, oh, this has come from many sources and will probably, you know, continue in many sources, perhaps.